Let's get to some breaking news that you'll see only here on ABC 10 this morning. New criminal charges will be filed against PG&E. The power company is accused of sparking a fire in Shasta County last year, which killed four people. ABC 10's Brandon Redman is in Shasta County to explain why PG&E is expected to face homicide charges. It's been almost a full year since the Zog fire tore through the hills above Redding, and today is the day that criminal charges will be filed. We're told in a news conference coming up at 1030 this morning, homicide charges and other crimes will be charged against PG&E for causing this fire. It sent people running from the small foothills community of Igo last September. Among the four dead, a mother and child, eight-year-old Fela McLeod and her mom Elena died in a pickup truck on the dirt road that they lived on trying to escape from the flames. Two of their neighbors were killed as well. A federal judge has already been investigating this fire and found that PG&E committed safety violations. He found PG&E had marked an unsafe tree leaning in the direction of its power lines all the way back in 2018, but it was left standing for more than two years until it snapped in a windstorm, fell on PG&E's power line, and sparked the Zog fire. PG&E has previously said it doesn't believe that criminal charges are warranted in this case. We're going to learn what those charges are going to be later this morning. Look for more coverage on ABC10.com and later today on ABC10. Brandon, thank you. PG&E pleaded guilty to 84 felony counts of involuntary manslaughter last year. Those crimes took place in the 2018 campfire. The Zog fire started three months after PG&E pleaded guilty. And outside of the courtroom, PG&E's leader said it would not happen again.